A Vallejo police officer who shot and killed a 22-year-old man last year violated department policy by not trying to de-escalate the situation. That's according to new findings in an independent investigation. Today in the base, Bob Riddell joins us live this morning. And Bob, what else do we know this investigation revealed? Laura, that the determination to use that deadly force was not objectionably reasonable. That's the key finding from this independent investigation into the Vallejo police shooting of 22-year-old Sean Monterosa. This happening last year, June of 2020. Uh, this happened while responding to a report of looting at a Walgreens during the George Floyd protests. Uh, Monterosa was in the parking lot of that Walgreens. Uh, he had a hammer in his sweatshirt pocket, but police say that the officer who shot him mistook that hammer for a gun. The 66-page report uh, was put together by a formal civil rights prosecutor working for an outside firm. It was released last night. Uh, the report says the officer fired rapidly through the windshield of a patrol car. You can see uh, which was captured uh, by officer body cams. We we're not actually showing you the shooting part of that video, however. Uh, the report describes the officer's response as tactically poor and that the officer did not use any de-escalation techniques, as you mentioned, Laura. It is now up to the Vallejo Police Department to decide whether or not that officer will face disciplinary action. The state attorney general has launched its own investigation. NBC Barrier did reach out to the Monterosa family last night. They say they need some time before they comment. Reporting live, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.